became a conversation with somebody. Is it because you became head of house or whatever? You start telling me what I should do. I know it. I know you're oh, sorry. Gee. Why did I How can I, I be paying that? Because I head of house with this conversation. Because, okay. because, because why is this conversation? Can I be talking to him again? Because I head of house with this conversation. Like Doc came and was asking me like, ah. What's going on? Like, what do you guys do to feel me? Like, annoying. And if he's annoying, coming every boy, if you're like, coming you for me, so if you're so coming so for me, it's, it's okay, it's fine. It's okay if you're coming only for you me. Get with but only you get with Radicals. Only you get with uh, Only you get with Listen. What the fuck? The Madiwet twins managed to get all the housemates to turn on them. That is what I'm here to talk about. What caused the chaos between the Madiwet twins and almost all the housemates? That is what I am here to discuss. But before I start that, let me officially welcome you to my channel. My name is Chooks. And this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, all you have to do is turn on your post notification to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Drop us a like if you enjoy what we are doing. And uh, I want to hear your comments, so drop it down below in the comment section. So guys, throughout today, it seems like them Badiwe twins have been stepping on toes of the housemate. And not just what happened yesterday, let's just say back in the days when this housemate first came into the house. And luckily for them, they were the first pair to emerge the head of house. And seeing how their reign went smoothly, to some housemates their reign was smoothly, but to some, they were overdoing it. And uh, a lot of them have bottled that anger, a lot of them wanted to say something, but maybe, just maybe, they were afraid of the Badiwe twins, or maybe they were just showing them respect, because the Badiwe twins are older than, are almost older than all the housemates in the house, if I'm not mistaken. And these housemates are trying to show their courtesy, are trying to show they are respect to them by the way twins, but sometimes them by the way twins takes it to the extra mile. And with everybody, everybody has a breaking point. Everybody has a limit that when they get to, they will break. And that is what happened yesterday. They have got, these housemates have gotten to their limit and they broke. Guys, I'm talking about the worst boost that happened between them by the way twins and Nelly. And it's not them by the way twins, just Ozzy. And Nelly. Let's just generalize and say them Badiwe twins. And also the argument or kind of conversation that wasn't in favor of Anita that happened between Anita and them Badiwe twins. And also a joke that went too far between them Badiwe twins and Femi. So guys, that is all I'm here to table. Uh, so get your papers, get your popcorn, sit down, relax, and uh, let's talk about it. So we already know what happened. I'm not going to be sharing more light into it because we already saw it happen. Where Femi, where Femi, Badiwe twins, some of the housemates were all seated and having a conversation before they get to their Aquafina tax. And uh, I just want to say congratulations to the checkers for winning the Aquafina tax. It's uh, seeing how these housemates do their right up and i say all those beautiful words it kind of got me crying and it's like it, and it was as if big brother was uh, shopping onions inside the arena but uh, it is beautiful to see this housemate show their appreciation to their partner or just to show that they appreciate them as their party for life it was fun to watch and uh congratulations once again to the shakas for winning that aquafina task as before big brother called this housemate into the uh, into the arena he has told them to sit in the garden and when they were sitting in the garden, these housemates are there having a conversation. And from that conversation, they were sharing about the hardship they've been facing in their life. And Femi was the one sharing his own kind of hardship. And it wasn't sitting well with Mbadiwe twins. So Mbadiwe twins was trying to invalidate whatever Femi was saying. Kind of making it feel like, okay, yes, you are, you are making it as if you are the only one that has suffered. But that is not actually suffering. You know that kind of thing. And uh, for Femi, Femi was like, no, I know what I'm saying. But then by the way, they are not hearing. They don't want to hear to what Femi was saying. They want to insert their dominance and let the housemate go with what they say. So for, for Nelly, who is uh, seeing what is going on between them by the way, twins and Femi, was like, no, let this guy talk what he's talking. Even I, I have suffered. And then them by the way, twins was like, no, you are not getting what I'm saying. It's not that he's that what he's saying that he suffered doesn't mean that every other person has suffered. And it really was like everybody goes through suffering in their different ways. Maybe the suffering that he went through is not the same thing that you went through, or it's not the same thing that I went through. And then them by the way to say something that kind of flipped the switch on a uh, Nelly. Uh, Ozzy, especially uh, Ozzy was like you since you became the head of house you've been disrespectful you have a conversation with somebody is it because you became head of house or whatever you start telling me what i should do i know it i know you're oh, sorry how can i be paying that for you because i head of house with this conversation 
to this conversation. Because I cannot be talking to him again. Because I end of house with this conversation. And Nelly was like, what the fuck do you mean since I became the head of house having this event? I know you've been waiting to say this. And guys, we already know what happened. Nelly went from zero to a hundred, just like this. And it reminds me of and it reminded me of the conversation that uh, the same Badu twins had with Aneta. Where they were talking to Aneta and was like, hey, you know, the reason why we voted you or why we casted our vote for you guys was because Suj was uh, Suj, my guy came to me and begged me to vote for you guys that was the reason why i voted for you guys so and then i was like what the hell are you telling me this you shouldn't be telling me this if you can't vote for me because you want to vote for me then why are you telling me that you voted for me because so so person asked you to vote for me no take it to your heart someone asks you to vote this is the reason why you are voting take it to your heart you shouldn't be telling me that so far so what after the whole because Ozzy was kind of pissed off with everything that happened between him and Nelly. And whomever was open to hear, Ozzy kept on complaining. Ozzy complained, 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 complained. Com to some certain point, he kind of made a statement that uh, uh, Nelly would uh, poison his food that uh, and begged she's about to fly a plantain for him. That uh, that Nelly, if Nelly cooks for him, that Nelly will poison him. Maybe that is a joke, but there is something that's taking a joke too far which is what happened between him and femi so i i can't pinpoint when the conversation was had or say this was the kind of conversation was had but according to femi what femi was insinuating when he was talking to ben chizoba and uh, i think ruti or dj flow yeah dj flow by the closet area was that the way F uh, ozzy said what he said he wasn't sitting well with him that Ozzy made a sexual remark to his sister and his mom's sister and it doesn't sit well with him. So the Ben and uh, DJ Flo was like, and Chisopa was like, have you spoken to him? Maybe you should go talk to him and tell him that this joke is the, that the joke is, he, he, that the joke he told, he took it too far that you are not appreciative of that, you don't like going that uh, lane whenever you are joking with somebody and he was like okay yes i'm not afraid to talk to him the guy was very angry and i'm like what what is going on the guy the, like you could feel that whatever o, uh, oz or oc told femi whatever the individual twin said to femi got femi pissed off and femi is the most selfless person in that house femi doesn't have the power to uh, create buzz balls with everybody. Even whenever buzz balls is happening, you just see Femi sitting at the corner like this, like an orphan, sitting like this. So for that, for whatever the Mbajiwe twin said, it must have hurt for him to be reacting that way. So he first of all talked to TJ. TJ advised him of on uh, what to do. Then he later went on and uh, started uh, venting on uh, uh, venting to Chizoba, Ben, and... Uh, DJ flow. So uh, uh, while he was doing that venting, they advised him to go talk to the Mbadiwe twins and he later went. He went and talked to the Mbadiwe twins. They had a very lengthy conversation about uh, how they should joke. If they are joking, let them joke with each other. Let them leave the family out of the whole joke. That it doesn't sit well with him them making jokes with his family, especially his mom, his mom's sister, and his sister, that he doesn't sit well with him. And then the Mbadiwe the Mbadi twins was like, hey, my guy, yes, I understand what you are saying, but I, I wasn't saying it to be disrespectful to your mom. I thought we were on the same page when it comes to uh, taking jokes and giving jokes. First of all, let me apologize, actually, mm. because, yeah, now that you mentioned it, mm. if there's a boundary to you and we mm. cross it, then I apologize. Mm. Because I saw you doing the same thing to other housemates and i'm like okay you were talking about it i talked about it you started it you started it and i continued with what you started and you were laughing then so i'm sorry i didn't know that you that it was too far but from now on since you've told it to me i will never take uh jokes i will never make jokes with your family or your mom or anybody that is related to you if i'm making a joke with you i'm just uh, keeping it with you and I. Couple of minutes while Femi left, the Mbadiwe twins started having a conversation between themselves. That was when Shizoba and Onyeka 
walked in and then they started again they brought out everything that has been going on since yesterday about the fight with nelly and how it was unnecessary and they started talking that okay maybe just maybe that these housemates are trying to create a scenario where there is no scenario are trying to create a fight just for sheep publicity just to get that five minutes of a uh, tv time and for them it doesn't sit well with them that maybe they might have a conversation with all the housemates and onyaka was like no just keep doing what you are doing but just know that not everybody in this house likes you not everybody in this like in this house likes you some might be talking to you but at the end of the day they will hate you but they can't say it to you until there is an opportunity that's when you see them flare up that's when you see them react but it doesn't mean that you are doing something wrong it's just because they did not like you and Oyaka was trying to calm them down with her voice, uh, kind of uh, de-escalate everything that has uh, that has been popping up since yesterday. And guys, I want to ask you this question. Do you think that what Onyeka was doing was her playing the game? Or do you think that it was her genuinely advising them by the way to not to escalate the thing? And I would like to hear your thought about everything that has been going on in the house since yesterday with the fight uh, about them by the way to fight with Nelly, with Anita, and then with Femi. And uh, guys, I have to give you guys an update. Big Brother gave this housemate a new twist into the house. Big Brother brought in a new twist into the house. And I want to share it before I go. I, I didn't make the video yesterday. So let me just put it here and uh, update you guys. So what Big Brother said in the twist that he brought out is, remembering that this week that this housemate is doing everything about wellness and uh, health. So Big Brother decided to, uh, ration how this housemate eat and how and their access to the kitchen so for the, for today big brother has rationed this housemate feeding to twice a day so now this housemate will have to eat twice a day and big brother is going to tell them when to cook and when not to cook when to access the kitchen so big brother play the music for them and told them whenever this music is on that is the only time you guys can access the kitchen and whenever this music stops, everybody in the kitchen should just leave the kitchen and stop eating. So guys, let me know how long do you think this housemaid will stay before they start complaining about hunger? And with how much we see them falter the rules, do you think that they will keep up with the rules? And one other thing is, if they fail to adhere to the rules that Big Brother has set out for them, 10% will be deducted from their wager. Yes, that's what Big Brother says. So, with all that information, do you think that this housemaid is going to keep up with Big Brother's rule of rationing their their food and their access to the kitchen? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys on another video. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.